Can you smell that, boys? Yes. That's the smell of charcoal that's waiting for maybe the greatest six ingredient lamb chops ever. Smoky grilled lamb rib chops with a mint and parsley chimichurri. That's all I have to say. That should be enough right now. Your ears should have gone, wait, what? What, what is he talking about? So delicious, so great. The fire is building uh, behind me. Cooking on charcoal, on the, the well.com. What's it called? The Santa Maria style Argentinian thing, deal. It's a good thing. It's a good thing, yeah. I don't know where to go next. Oh, we'll make the chimichurri. By that time, the fire should be close. And then we're cooking. And damn, are these gonna be, they're gonna get the charred edges and the fat's gonna melt. And oh, I'm salivating thinking about it. Are we just letting the thing do its thing? I watched an old video. There were four. Do its thing? Let it, let it do its thing. I told but, you. But it's legit. I've been doing this since, since the beginning of time. Since the dawn of time. Here we go. Mint and uh, curly parsley, the main suspects for today. We want about a half a cup of each. Once it's chopped, I'll start with the mint. And I will just pick off the leaves. All right, so now this just gets chopped up. Just we're not, we're not gonna shift and odd. We're not shift and odding. There's a fancy. Is that what you were gonna do? Yeah. What? Well, yeah. The, you don't really need to. Fine if you don't know how to shift and odd. Great time to work on your knife skills. Beautiful. Off to the side. Now our parsley. Like this. Like this. That's gonna be too much. But let's just see how we do here. Yep. Gonna be too much. Could you do this in a processor, Max? Yes. Of course you could. Do you need to? No. No. We'll put those in a bowl. We'll add a couple other things. Oh, the smell of the fresh mint. I just love. Great. Now some garlic. So let's put in like four or five big cloves, shall we? Back of the knife. Next up, red pepper flakes. I say you go a teaspoon. If you don't like it that spicy, then leave less. But you know, by the time all this gets in here, now a pinch of salt and pepper, and now olive oil. And we put it in, and I think you're gonna want between about a quarter of a cup and a third. But I'll show you what you want this to look like when it's done. And see this, that's too dry. That's not what I want. Now we're there. Mmm, the smell. That's it, that, see this? Well, do you see this? Yes. Hang on, I'm I not see. not hunting a fly right Hang now. Hang on, Matt, here, we need a little more salt. Max, would you give it a little more salt? Yes. Oh, God, scared me. <laughs> Thank you. There's a fly. On the move. There you go. That. This is what you want. Dang. Ready for the uh, lamb rib chops? Yes. Okay. How about a little taste? Just a little bit. That's what you want. You want it a little drippy. Mm. This parsley mint chimichurri might end up being an item on the menu at Gray's <laughs> just like that. Now, what is this? It's some um, mint parsley uh, chimichurri. Well, what's it go on? It doesn't. Sam likes to serve it like that with a spoon. You just eat it. That's a bit odd, isn't it? Well, Sam's a bit odd, so. Okay, lamb next. What do you think? I like it. So let's do this. Let's get rid of this parchment because we don't need it anymore. And here's what I have. Wow, they're outstanding. Look at them. So I like these guys. I mean, they're almost like, a, like one biters, you know? A couple really good one biters in here, but. But this is fantastic. So I want to spread them out like this because they need a little bit of oil before they go on. So I'll just do this and then mush this all the way around. Sides too. They get a tiny bit of salt and pepper. They don't need a lot because there's really great flavors in what's going on them with that little chimney, but they're gonna be great. Okay, then we can flip them over and repeat. And how do we feel about the fat around these edges? Because I know how I feel. Flavor. It's one of the best parts of this lamb. One of the best parts. And when it gets all charred and burned up on that thing, well, lamb ready. Do you need more salt? Chimichurri. Lamb ready, chimichurri ready. Only one thing to do now. Let's go cook these biatches. More salt? Oh, God. <laughs> and away we go. There is no chimichurri going on yet. We will put that on after. So here's the goal. I want to cook these like I do a steak. And what that means is I want to turn them a lot. I want to get them to about 130 degrees. I want a medium rare. I don't want to screw them up. You see this? Do you see this? Thank you. Get out, Leaf. That's everything right there, ladies. Everything. Oh my God. Fathers. We're just turning. That's all we're doing. 
When they get close, we'll start putting the chimney on. Look at this. It's like a lamb chop circle jerk. Fantastic! Clearly the small guys are coming off first. Some of these big boys though, they'll be on a little bit longer. But I'm telling you, it's been just a few minutes and we're starting to get close on this. It's just fantastic everything here. I'm about, uh, I just checked. Here, let's check one. Let's go with this little guy. This little guy is currently reading about 100, uh, 129. Wait, let me check again. 130, okay. These little guys are gonna be able to come off very soon, but let's just give them some love first, like this. So of course it's gonna flare, it's gonna char, it's gonna be fantastic. We're gonna pull them off here to the side, these little guys. I think we might be there for almost everybody. Yeah, these little guys are good. Everybody's coming off. We're gonna go like this. Put them face down if they haven't gotten any chimney on them yet, so they get it right here. All right, let's go. And here are our little friends. I've given them a little extra love on the way from the, uh, the grill to here. Wow, dang. Dang, snap, look at these guys, holy s. Oh, 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 sorry. I don't know where that should go. That just goes here and then this big boy just drops on top like that. Damn. Looks nice to me. That's a nice pile of lamb. And if you wanna to touch up a few spots, we have the technology right here. Don't be shy about your chimney, ladies and gentlemen. Chimney is not anything that wants to be uh, kept in the corner. You people keep chimney in the corner? What, three minute cooking time on super hot charcoal? Yeah. If I didn't have charcoal or grill, I think I'd do them under the broiler. Cause you want the, these little crispy bits and stuff, you know? That's what the shit's all about. And of course, the other thing that shit's all about, having a bite. Oh, God. I'm getting this. You know what my father would eat lamb with? You probably have never even seen this, boys. Mint jelly. It looks like jello, it's bright green, and it's horrific. He said, here's my bite. Mm. Mm. Lovely. Oh, I wish I could sing like angels. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. Really nice uh, back of throat heat from the red pepper flakes. The mint and the garlic are outstanding. The parsley is a, is a supporting member of this uh, recipe. It's not a star. The lamb, the mint come first. Oh, I was gonna have another bite. Sorry, Max doesn't like that. All right, so you should do this. Ah, I gotta find a new line at the end. You know, I'm working on not saying let them do their thing. I gotta find a new thing to say at the end instead of you should make this. But I say it because you should make this. What do we say? Don't eat the same thing all the time. Try new stuff, one new recipe a week. Change it up, that's the, that's the key there. Change your shit up. I see that on a shirt. Change your shit up, okay? And when you're finished changing your shit up, go to shop.sdcg.com for all kinds of frivolous food-related nonsense. And by the way, the, the pans have, uh, have been off of availability, but the next shipment's coming in, so if you go there, you can get on a wait list. Look at that beautiful color. Look at that beautiful color. Peace. Oh my God. I'll be glad to get rid of this stupid bowl. Number 10 of 20. Kevin Sheck wrote, Max is so right. I did shout, that's what she said. Loving your work, keep it up. Could do with a garlic press. Well, guess what, Kevin? You're not getting a garlic press, buddy, because you're not a subscriber. It's a simple rule, am I right, boys? You're right. Do we ask anything? Do we ask you to do anything like pay? No. Hit the subscribe button, that's it. And he even asked for a garlic press. That little, that little red mark beside your name, Kevin, would have been everything, but look, Darlene Banfield is a subscriber, and she said, love your channel. Darlene, number 10 of 20 is coming to you. Reach out to us at infothecookingguy.com. We'll verify you as the real Darlene Banfield, and you'll get this. And just to drive the point home to Kevin even more, Darlene, I'm gonna give you this and a copy of my uh, latest cookbook, Sam the Cooking Guy, Recipes with Intentional Leftovers. Boom.